Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have some really awesome Minecraft news to share with you. And of course, there's two bits of Minecraft news. There's the joke, because it is April 1st in some parts of the world, and there is the real news, which is our first look into Minecraft 1.10. So, as well as the trendy update, we have our first actual look into Minecraft 1.10 and a new feature announcement. So, yeah, two bits of news in one. Hopefully you do all enjoy it, and you can juggle it in your head. If you do, please do a like video and let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like the news, especially when half of it's serious and half of it is fake. So, let me just quickly start by clarifying, in case you're like, ahead. So, Cat. This is an April Fool's video, right? No, I am doing an April Fool's video, but that's not what this is. It's 11 p.m. in the UK. It wouldn't count even if I did it. So keep that in your mind. This is all real. I am being honest with you as much as you can believe me. But with that said, let's start with the actual news, which comes in from Jeb. So Jeb tweeted out uh, quite a bit earlier today his first screenshot of Minecraft 1.10, saying this is an odd detail, but it makes a big difference. And then says it's the first official screenshot of Minecraft 1.10. And if we click the screenshot and show it to you, here's what it looks like. So as you can see, uh, the big uh, a lot of people are looking at like the zombie pigment being like, I wonder if something's new there. Or maybe it's the Neverag, maybe it's the Glowstone, and uh, the actual answer, according to Jeb, is it's just the Enderman. So the Enderman is, of course, in the Never. Right now, Enderman can only be found in the End and in the Overworld, and it kind of makes sense that they're switching between those two dimensions, so why not switch to the Never too? So the Never just got a little bit harder in Minecraft 1.10, with Enderman spawning there too. But something that another Reddit user, uh, user theorized, because that's where he confirmed it was that, is that it might be the Glowstone, because this is something he might have changed and then not realized, because if you look at the Glowstone in the top right, their glow is going way further down than it perhaps should, and this could be... Uh, you know, like vertical light from uh, glowstone going much further than it did before, because that would make sense. In real life, have you ever made, or have you ever made a house in Minecraft where you've put some sky lightings in that doesn't actually cover your floor? It could be the fix to that so that vertical, you know, lighting doesn't disappear the same way it does horizontally. That could be what it is, or it could be there's some lava to the right. Just before I'd mention that, because that could be a secret second feature in this screenshot. So that's all of the serious news for the day. Let's get into the joke stuff, because I really do quite like this, uh, you know, this year's April Fool joke, because it is Minecraft 1.RV, the trendy update, pre release one. So this is from the Mojang team as a whole, they released the trendy update because they wanted to bring modern technology into Minecraft, so they decided to get with the times and release this changelog right here. So monsters will now be equipped with the latest gear on the market. What market? The monster market of course. <laughs> uh, new tools that once you use them, you can't remember how you live your life without them. They may not even come off, but why would you want that anyway? And then never miss important information. What's important? We don't know, so we'll tell you everything. Also, with sound. And then finally, all these gadgets will need more power, so we've added a USB charger block to help you out. And yes, this is all in there. And then and then finally, they digitalized Herobrine and removed Herobrine. So again, Herobrine removed, always a nice thing in Easter egg update. So with that said, let's actually load up the game. Let's show you the update. As you can see, I'm in here right now. Uh, if you check the bottom left, Minecraft 1.RV pre-snapshot 1. Let's show you what's actually going on here because I I wasn't sure what to expect when I downloaded and started playing this, but it did make me laugh out loud the first few times I saw it because first of all, look at the mobs. I mean, <laughs> it's a zombie wearing, you know, a, a virtual reality headset and a smartwatch. Why, why this this is a genuine thing in a Minecraft update and uh, basically, yeah, what, what the first thing we'll go through is the monsters spawning with earth stuff on because if you spawn in a bunch of mobs, you'll see some of them, will ra or a lot of them, will randomly have either headsets on, uh, ankle monitors, or the smartwatch like you saw over here? Was it? Yeah, over here. So, yeah, they can have one of these three things on, because there's three major pieces of technology that came in with this update. There is the reality vision, there is the anchor monitor, and there's the smarter watch, because it's, it's it's even smarter than a smartwatch. But yeah, with that said, any mob that you spawn, so whether it's a creeper, oh, well, most of the time, whether it's an enderman, whether it's uh, any of these things, they can spawn with any of these pieces of equipment on, and it's just kind of a funny thing you can find in the world. Oh, one thing that's worth mentioning is this does count as headgear, so zombies won't burn the day, even though they should, because they have headgear on. So, anyway, let's actually show you the blocks, because you're probably curious about those right about now. Let's start off the, you know, the most you know, kind of boring. It's just the anchor monster. It was hilarious to me because basically what this thing does when it is working is it'll just tell you whether you're in your curfew zone or not, which is somewhere around your spawn, it seems. Just a, a, pr a pretty amusing thing that you can wear a monitor that tells you go back to where you should be. And it makes you, do it looks, makes you look like a little bit of a convict. So there's that, but it's not doing anything on this mountain right now. Second of all, there's the smartwatch, which goes in the offhand slot. So you put that there and uh, what it'll do is one, tell you how long you've been in your Minecraft world. So nine minutes and 47 seconds for me. But as well as that, what it'll also do is every time you get an achievement, like, or not an achievement, but like a uh, built-in achievement, like sprinting a certain number of blocks, jumping a certain number of blocks, killing a certain number of things, anything like that, what it'll do is it'll give you a little uh, notification. So let's fly around for a bit so we can get a flying achievement. And uh, yeah, it gives you a nice little sound too. Like a smartwatch does in real life. Again, kind of a parody on that whole thing. So you got a bunch of the achievements already, so it's kind of hard. But when you first get in, it'll give you just a bunch off the bat. And uh, yeah, we should probably just stick to flying. Yay, jumps is now at 300. We, we've jumped 300 times this world, uh, which is impressive for being in here for 10 minutes. But yeah, uh, basically it just keeps track of a bunch of achievements. Oh, and we got this as a printed 400. So I, I just think that's pretty funny if you ask me. That's just uh, what the smartwatch does. But finally, we've got reality vision, the one that I was looking forward to the most. And boy, does it not disappoint because we put the headset on. And as you can see, 
you know, everything looks a bit more realistic, right? But also, we get a map of the local area. So this, this thing, as you can see, uh, maps out your local area. And as you go to new areas, it will add them on there too. But as well as that, you know, it doesn't just map out the local area. As well as that, it keeps track of your position. And uh, as you scale, the map scales with you. So for instance, if we run this way, the map will slowly start to scale because you can see the green dot is meant to be me. I don't know why the world's not rendering for some reason. Well, that caused some weird glitches, but <laughs> if you assume that doesn't happen, it's pretty cool and funny, right? So yeah, that's the every uh, Anti-Vision headset. I think this is actually a really cool feature. I know there's no real way you can put this in the game, but the fact that there's just a map that's like in a HUD like this, I love this. It's like the console maps, but like, you know, a hundred times better. Or uh, I maybe not a hundred times, but definitely, a, you know, a really, really cool version of the, of the map. And I think it's pretty awesome. So... With that said, let's take off the reality vision because it's kind of distorting. And let's show you the final block here, which is, of course, the most exciting. It's the USB charge block. So this counts as a redstone item. Uh, it's actually in redstone, I believe. Uh, yeah, there it is. And I don't know if this actually uh, you know, affects redstone. Let's find that out right now. But yeah, this will charge your items for you. So it does. It's a redstone block free skinned as a thing. And this means if you want to charge all your new redstone creations with USB, you can do that. And uh, obviously, there's no actual application to this. But still, I think that's pretty funny if you ask me. So with that said, yeah, this is everything. So here are the free items. Uh, here, this is everything in the Minecraft uh, trendy update. They made Minecraft a lot trendier. They made all the mobs a lot cooler. I mean, look at... Oh, that was kind of bizarre. But look at this one. He's gone Ankermonta and the anti-vision goggles i just think it's pretty funny if you ask me oh and another achievement i really really do like this update um i think it's one worth checking out but of course it is a joke it will probably be removed just after you know the april falls or it won't be removed but you know it's 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 not going to be official and they'll say haha that was a funny joke and i always think that's pretty cool so yeah this is uh i think our third or fourth april falls update joke now we've had 2.0 we've had uh, 1.9 love and hugs update and this year we got the trendy update so all pretty cool stuff um, I think it's a little bit bizarre that the 1.10, uh, you know, announcement coincided with this, but I really do think it's real because it's such a small thing that you wouldn't troll people on. But I guess let me know in the comments down below if you think Minecraft 1.10 is a troll. Do bear in mind, though, that last year, the April Fool's update did have a hint at uh, Minecraft 1.9 in there, so maybe it's the same this time. It could be the case, or maybe it's not. We'll have to see, won't we? Either way, uh, I hope you did all enjoy today's video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like it. Um, please do... Oh, wait, let's get some skeletons. Uh, share it if you really liked it because it helps out the channel oh wait that's the same thing i was gonna say and then subscribe you're new around here because i say the same thing over and over again and if you want to see more of that you can uh you can subscribe and you'll see it daily on your homepage. anyway all of that said thank you all very much for watching and goodbye